We begin with the city of Detroit blocking off a major street due to unsafe conditions. This vacant building has been a problem for years and it's only getting worse. We're talking about bricks falling off of the building, crashing 100 feet below on the East Warren Avenue. Tim Pamplin on the scene with an ICAM. Tim. When masonry started falling off this old warehouse along Warren Avenue, the city knew they had to shut the avenue down. The best way to see this damage is from Drone 4, 100 feet up in the air. Heading into the east, you start to see the damage on this Albert Kahn designed warehouse. This used to be the Hobart Cold Storage Facility, and before that it was a John Bagley Tobacco Factory. Built in 1919, it was abandoned in 2007. It's very serious. It's, it's absolutely serious, and we take it serious. So that's why we did do um, enforcement within 24 hours. Yes, the rules of government usually turn slowly, but in this case, within a day, the tickets were being issued, and Warren Avenue shut down. We immediately issued black violations. We contacted DPW so that they could come out and walk off the street so that pedestrians or passing vehicles would not be injured by the falling birds. As we tilt down on Drone 4, the masonry crashing through that temporary sidewalk cover, the city has given the owner three days to get this situation rectified and has asked the neighborhood who have been inconvenienced by this road closure for patience. We understand it's not convenient and we apologize to the citizens of Detroit that live in that area, but we are doing this for your safety. What we don't want to see is anyone injured from this situation. East Warren is closed between St. Auburn and Russell. We'll be for the foreseeable future until the owner can get this building taken care of. That's the scene on the east side with the night cam, Tim Pamplin, Local 4.